the Sport Tank Games this weekend. Obviously, right now we have the second game in the NWFL doubleheader today as we have the London Warriors who are about to kick the ball off. Into the hands of Edinburgh. Oh, big, big tackle. There. So there's an, as we said, this is the second of two NWFL games that we will be streaming today. Obviously, we've had the Leeds Chargers, 72, Bowman Lions, 82. Yeah, that's correct. But obviously, we have the, right now we have the London Warriors versus the Edinburgh Wolves. Edinburgh Wolves in red, London Warriors in red, the black. So let me see if I, yeah, just making sure that my, uh, my other cameraman is all set up. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm not just here by myself up in Leeds, I'm joined by... It's Bethany Pilkington! What did you say about that? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Obviously, Bethany Pilkington of the Leeds Chargers and of the GB squad. Obviously, in here in Leeds, ready. Obviously, Pilks And good on her, because she is a hell of a good runner. The London Warriors have been waiting for this game. I think they're quite excited. Obviously, they've come off the back of a... A lot of them have come off the back of an international game, so they're ready to kind of play with each other and, and make sure that they continue to make the mark across the Britball community and, and that they do. Um, Edinburgh Wolves have uh, the Prem side and they are also excited to kind of put themselves up. They played, who was it last time? Royals? They played Peterborough. Yeah, who they've played quite a few times. And here we are, that is number. Is that Rachel Moody? Many, many London Warriors surrounding that Wolves running back who has given them a first down here. Let's see who that is. That is number 99. That's Rachel Moody. Moody, who I interviewed last year. GB. Okay. Well, the GB team did, was slightly injured, did have issues with the ACL, but she's back this year. Ready to make an impact with the Edinburgh. Edinburgh Wolves. Thankfully, both teams have given me a roster, and London Warriors doing something very nice for me, putting pronunciations on there as well. Oh, stunning! Which very low snap there. QB keep number thirteen. They're still on the feet. Number thirteen still going. Number thirteen, Riley Adamson there. Making the best of a bad situation there, but it does seem to, oh, uh, let's see, resulting in four yards, which, you know, if low snap like that, that's sort of, that is basically the best you could do with it. Sophie George on the tackle, clinging on for dear life. She, you know, she had that clamp there. I think a lot of um, inexperienced players probably would have let Riley run straight through. So, like, massive shout out to Sophie there for actually hanging on and, and keeping her down until she had a bit of support in there. So, Pilks, you've obviously played the Warriors. But what did you sort of take away from that game? <laughs> they are an incredibly well-drilled squad. They have athletes across the board. I think yeah. it was... Adamson looking at throw. Oh, oh, a big number, 27. That was incredibly well read. Oh, my. <laughs> Charlotte Carpenter, 27 for the Warriors, comes off with the first interception of the day. That's going to get the Warriors really hyped up and, you know, when they have the energy on their side, they, they are unstoppable. You know, we, we see it all the time. They're, in, like I said, an incredibly well-drilled squad. I think um, on both sides of the ball, they've got, you know, numerous people across the, the GB team. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that's the be-all and end-all, but it's a really good indicator of how well-trained and well-drilled they are. And it, it's difficult coming against not just like one or two really key players, but when it's across every single player, that, that's a really difficult position to be in. You so know, they, Sorry. No, go ahead. So Tripp's right, but it's right in the middle for number two. But Ooh. number 90 for the Wolves just completely slipped out there. Ibs. Ibs. Good, good old Ibs. <laughs> good old Ibs. <laughs> that was incredibly well read by Ibs on that. You know, the, the middle opened up the, the Warriors O-line, absolutely creating holes, but Ibs just read it and, and flew down onto that massive shout-out. That was a great play. Well, I think you're more saying that this is Ibs' second year playing. Some, I believe so. Something like that, yeah. She's definitely not been playing long, but she's just a natural athlete on that. Out. Bounces on the floor. Actually, the fish are there, just not being able to put the, enough power behind that to get it into the hands of Sam Reed. Right. 
I mean, I'm really excited to watch number 16. <laughs> who has moved into running back? Who are these If you're number 16, is that Shavul Walker? Who, you know, I'm sorry, Brooks, might be one of the best players in the country. Without a doubt. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Not, just, not just regardless of gender. Oh, look at that. No, look. Ridiculous. Do you see that? Yeah. Amazing. She, yeah, she's she's next level. And, you know, like, playing against her is, is something that gets everyone a lot better. But, you know, when, when you're playing against her in a game, it's difficult because you, you know what she's capable of. And every single time you feel like, actually, I've got her in, I've got her in like, you know, confined amount of space. I've got this, you know, then she somehow absolutely dukes someone and, and gets out of the way. And she's a, such a strong winner. And she can play, she can play wide out, she can play running back and she's invincible in every single play. She's just uh, unreal. I don't want to hype up too much, you know, give her an ego, she would never, but she's just one of the best players that I've ever played against, if not the best there, I say. And she's, she's getting better every single year, which is, is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so the injured Edinburgh Wolf has come off is walking to her and sailing under her own power, which is very good. Apologies for the uh, Ryanair plane going <laughs> overhead. There's nothing <laughs> I can do to stop that. Just wish those people, say that they, you know, hopefully one of their drinks is a bit overpriced on their holiday for interrupting <laughs> my game. So here we go. I'm surprised to see London Warriors not with tight ends in. So trips um, out. And it's, oof. and very much the same play again. Fisher just not being able to find the gloves of 21. Bringing up a second and ten for the London Warriors now. Both these teams undefeated. Both of these teams, 2022 champions. Obviously, the Edinburgh Wolves in Division One and the London Warriors in the Premiership. So someone's always got to go today. Well, this ends in a draw, but <laughs> if it does, that's you know interesting. Hand off to number two. Great one. And there we go. It seems to be that the London Warriors. And the London Warriors strike first blood here in Leeds. As my papers hit my microphone and make such a terrible noise. That's a really... Giselle, sorry, Giselle or Bamwo, number two, putting the first six points on the board for the Warriors. A great run by Giselle there. It was really well read. She got outside and she just said she needed a little hand, hand to her helmet and she's away. She's a really good runner, strong again. You know, like we will say this across the border with a lot of the Warriors girls, they're incredibly strong players, strong runners. They don't give in. It takes at least a couple of people to take them down. So you've got to kind of use that gang mentality. And, you know, we say, dare I say, wolf pack. Um, they need to band together in this to try and stop it. So it looks like they're going to be continuing the trend of no kicking of extra points. And it's a handoff again. But drag down, let's see what the referees are saying. Waiting for a signal. And that is good, and there is two more points on the board for the Warriors. I will say I, that was quite unfortunate. You know, the, the linebackers from the Wolves managed to get in the backfield there. So there's some great pressure that they're putting in. It's always oh, difficult. No, sorry, hold on a second. So it sorry, was a touchdown before. No, no, sorry, that was a touchdown. So it's only on six points, and they are going to be kicking the extra point. I've got ahead of myself. <laughs> I was tossed. I mean, he definitely put his hands up, I'm sure of it. Yeah, he did, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap. Shiver. Well, no, Ryan, it doesn't look like it's going to be going anywhere. Flag on the play. They've managed to turn a high snap from the extra point into something. He definitely put his hands up, didn't he? He definitely put his hands okay. up. Okay. <laughs> so there's a flag on the play. Let's see what the referees. So here we go, so it's a number 50 on the offence, they're going to be replaying this extra point. So it still stands 6-0 to the Warriors, but they'll be trying for an extra point from a few yards back. If they can get their kicking formation, like, you know, if we can get the snap under control, you know, they're, they're pretty much in, you know, they've got a great kicking team, they've got great protection, they've got a great kicker, but then you've also got Shiv in the back for the hold so that if something does happen, she can run it and, you know, you would trust her to run it every That's time. Right. <laughs> I didn't even clock that. Yeah. <laughs> the best person that you could put as a holder is, is that girl, isn't it? Like, we just saw it there. She was running through people. Even when there was nowhere to go, somehow she snuck through. Yeah, a bit of a high snap. And Walker's on the run, but surrounded by Wolves, but... Not quite been able to grab her down, but... Oh, Lord. And number 40, just grabbing yeah. enough. Let's see. Kata... Yeah, Katarina managing to grab 
want to, she wants just enough to for the war, other war, wolves to come and help out, which this means that the score is going to be six nil. That was a, a great play by Wolves, you know, a, a really key person in there for it, getting in the back and, and just holding on and while well, the rest of them could kind of gather around and like compress that space down. Again, you don't want her to be getting space. That's the worst thing that you would want. So watching Forty kind of come in and hold on long enough, that's all you need. So really well played by the Wolves defence there. Come on, Thomas, Siobhan is, a real, is playing real love modern. She's a human <laughs> code. And that's why, I, that's why I'm happy that I get to call one of her games yeah. today. Here we go. So the Warriors are going to be kicking away. Number 21 will be in charge of booting the ball down the field. That's Sam Reed. Mm-hmm. Hell of a kick on her. No. Oops. What did you say? Oh, no, that's fine. No, that's fine. You can say that. Just don't like, don't drop any like hard f bombs and stuff. <laughs> no c word. So here we go now. There's like no blockers, but that that's going to end up very, very deep in Wolves territory. Mm -hmm. Putting my good friend George into a shift because he's got the camera down the other end. <laughs> <laughs> he's been getting his steps in today. Should have had my Fitbit on. Thank you. He certainly has. I mean, he's never he's never watched a game of football in his life. The, the first <laughs> one he's ever watched is Leeds versus uh, Birmingham. And he was like, I don't know what's going on, but it seems really fun. <laughs> me neither, George. Me neither. <laughs> he's like, 13 for Leeds is really, really good. <laughs> That's yeah. what he managed to take away from that. <laughs> that she is. 13 is really, really yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, Gabs had a great game, so, you know, massive shout out to, to Gabs. I mean, I, I would say we, we played really well, but... Yeah, I always have your standout players, and Gabs is one of them, similar to Shiv on their side of the ball. <laughs> so here we go now, Edinburgh Wolves looking to come back from was an interception that led to a, that led to a TD. She's running. Adamson running out. Again, it's difficult to see just because of the angle that we're sat at, whether that is going to be, and it certainly is, and that's a first down for the Wolves. That's some really good running and great awareness by the QB there. Like, she she's definitely a young player. She's got a lot left to go, but her where she is, where I'd expect, she's way ahead. She's got great awareness. She's got a great arm, and, and you know she's not afraid of backing herself in these situations where she can outrun people. And absolutely as she should. You know she's got a first down just off a bit of a scramble there because it didn't quite work out how they exactly wanted it to, and that's massive. I tell you one thing with the Edinburgh Wolves is that the one thing they don't lack is confidence. Uh huh. They, they love it. Like, obviously, sometimes you are getting slammed the Warriors, you might find it a bit daunting. Maybe yep. mm -hmm. But the Warriors like, the Wolves are like, no, we can win this game. Adamson really is on the right. Rachel road. Moody. <laughs> and Moody being dragged down three. <laughs> London Warriors taking it as another jet departs, so you can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's see if it's going to be a first down. Yeah, and there we go, and that's another wolf, oh, Wolves first down. Wolves and Warriors, I'm getting my W teams confused here, ladies and gentlemen. Not ideal. So Rachel Moody coming in at tight end has probably been the, what I would say, the shock of the century. Not only is she playing on a you know damaged ACL, she's rehabbing that. Coming in from a defensive end and, and a damn good one. Then going into a tight end position where she's making plays is, you know, shout out to the just a baller that she is, like an agility player. Right there, she's you know quite something special, isn't she? Go. Adamson looking to throw, and a Patrick Mahomes has throw their sidearm ball. And she whipped that. Destined for 87, but just could not find the mark for Emily Balzer. So there was a wasp that was right near my roster sheet. He's so making it up. Get that away! I'm not dealing <laughs> with no wasps here today. Sunscreen has already been in my eyes. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've already said this, but it's a hot day in Leeds today. Oh, I've said it's a hot day Oh, God, it's been awful. You know, all the pacey people are coming out as little lobs uh, lobsters, think they look like they're supporting the, the wolves today with that red. It's it's hot, so... No, we can't all be pilks who's <laughs> just rocking a, rocking a solid tail in Leeds. <laughs> it is what it is. is. It's all nice. <laughs> Interesting it, to see what they're going to do now, because they've had a couple of good plays, and it's, what, like, okay. two and long, two and ten, two and eleven? Back. 87 just running through London Warriors. Massive. And Emily again there being being the ball carrier. Let's see where this goes. It's not going to be quite a first down for the Warriors.
Yeah. But she got about eight yards there and she Certainly. got tackled pretty early on. She just kept going. That was incredible run. Here we go for the Edinburgh Wolves. Looking more like one and a half yards to go, but I'm being pedantic as I have been all day. <laughs> if Willie was here, he'd be able to tell me how long, a, how long it was. But we're in motion. Adam Schiller looking to throw. Oh, Aish. And sailing over the head. You know, they, they, they double, you know, double teamed her there because that was the right thing. She was going deep. Dare I say that Moody was wide open, but I would have probably done the same, not being a QB, so it's kind of hard to judge if that's a good sign. But, you know, she, she backed her arm and, and she's got a good throw and I think, she, you know, by second quarter she'll be absolutely nailing these balls and it, it's hard when you've not played a while. They've had a big old drive up, um, or should I say down, dare I say. But they've also had a lot of waiting around, so I imagine they're a bit out of whack. Um, so it's kind of hard for both sides of the ball right now, so it's a bit of an anything goes scenario until we settle in. So Wolves going for it on fourth and two. 87 in motion, low snap, not good, but Adamson looks to be running it. And that's a big stop there for the London Warriors as they will take over. They've moved the uh, yardage markers to the other side of the pitch, but they've thankfully kept the down markers on the other side of the pitch, I think just for us. Um, <laughs> So I can't really tell where it is. I'm going to guess it's about halfway. Mm. That was a great play by London. I think 54 was it. So I think that's Jane. She, you know, she read it really well. She just went in to cause havoc whilst you know Wolves were trying to like pick it back up and, and try and get a bit of a zone play there. I think, but it was just really, really well played and, and great discipline by the London team there. Here we're going to run in a spread formation. Are the Warriors very quick? Give it a two. Three so score touchdown today. And flag there. Ibs there making the mm -hmm. tackle. Yeah, Ibs is flying around today. You know, she's a, a middle linebacker. I would not really expect her to be making these outside tackles, but if she is, like, good on her. She's getting out there and she's making it work. And a block in the back from the offense. And that ball is coming back slightly, looking like it's going to be a second and 12 for the London Warriors. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, you don't. It's just the wind flying. <laughs> I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there is now a light breeze in Leeds. And thank God for that, because it was absolutely <laughs> roasted. Trips right for the Warriors. It's handed off, running right. Running into our own players, but... I'm, I am going to keep hyping up this Wolves defence. They are really working as a team and, and shutting just that space down so that there's nowhere for the running back to go, you know. Like we said, Giselle's a smart player and, and if she's not got anywhere to go, like I said, running into the back of theirs, it's because the Wolves are doing something right. I'm pretty sure that was a D-line that was making the tackle. The D-line are getting across and, and making it work. Some massive, massive shout out there. You know, the, I'm sure the DC Lindsay is, is absolutely over the moon right now with what she's seeing. Oh, Quan Qu Qu was asking, do you do you play ball, folks? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I, I just every now and then I'll you know have a tinkle. Um, so yeah, I mean it's it's weird watching and not playing. I've got an MCL injury for anyone that I've not whinged about it to. Um, and big pass there by twelve. It's my position. Oh! 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 I ran out of bounds. Who was that? Wait, is that the kid? <laughs> Hold on, Riley Adamson. <laughs> Riley might as well keep that ball. Yeah, put it in the centre. But that's an interception from the Wolves, an interception from the Warriors. You've got to have your best people on the field, and if you know if Wolves are saying actually Riley's one of our best defensive players, I ain't going to argue with that. They know their players better, and from what we've seen, I think I now agree with that. So massive, massive ball there. So here we go now. It looks like. They are going to be starting on, I'm going to say, the 34-yard line, but it's very difficult to say as I stare down the yard markers on this side of the pitch. Again, ladies and gentlemen, nicest referee crew I've ever met. Not saying the ones in the south. Not, not saying the ones in the south aren't nice, but this is just the nicest. They're very polite, very Yorkshire on us. It's, it's quite nice. So here we go. It's Edinburgh Wolves' offence back on the field. 
Spread for the Wolves. 87 in motion, goes around the QB. Flag on the play. Adamson being tracked Ooh. down by some Warriors, but getting he has space. Lamar Jackson-esque escape there. But there is a flag on the play. It's going to be interesting to see who it's going to be on. I can honestly say that I'm not 100% what happened here. Ooh. There we go, offside on the defence, obviously declined, and that is going to result in a first down for the Wolves, and the Wolves are in great territory. Riley Adamson, just spectacular, being able to yeah. get out of some of these tricky situations with London Warriors all just coming out from all angles. Mm -hmm. She's not phased by it, and, you know, as she shouldn't, you back yourself, and she is, and, and she's coming out on, you know, smelling the roses right now. Here we go, we got... Two on the right, one on the left at four. The Wolves. Got a creeping linebacker out from the Warriors. Bring someone back. And 27 there for the Wolves, trying. Trying to get some space. 27, Merce. Trying to get the ball, but just absolutely. It's like the hungry, hungry caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> easy read, an easy read for the London Warriors defense. Yeah, you know, Sophie read that really well, the linebacker 22, she was straight in there, not messing around, and, and she, she did everything that she should have done. That was really well read by the, the Warriors defense there. Here we go. Second and nine and, a, nine and three quarters. <laughs> okay, Harry, calm down. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there we go, low snap. Linebackers all around Adamson, but Adamson's Ooh. quick on her feet, but gets swallowed up. Flag flies out from the White Hat official. He's seen something. I think we, we may have all saw it. <laughs> um, the, you know, the London are bringing some real pressure with quite last minute blitzes. Um, so that's sending a bit of chaos because it's hard for the QB to kind of read what's going on there. Here we go, that's a 15-yard penalty that's on the Edinburgh shot. Wolves. And that is harrowing. That ball is going to get marched back a long way, and it looks like these Wolves are going to be facing a third and 30, oh no, third and 25, 35. And in case that people were watching the other live stream, the bottle of iron brew that Lindsay gave me is gone. It, I finished it, it was hot, it was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I know that she's, it, she's brought that for you as a little Scottish gift. I know, but like at first it was really nice because it was cold, and then it just got <laughs> hot, and then it was disgusting. <laughs> like, thank, thank you, Lindsay. It's not your fault that the that for some reason it's decided to be sunny in Leeds, but warm mind brew, not the one. Anyway, let's get back into uh, NWFL action here. The Wolves down six, looking at a second and twenty-five. He's running. Really, really well read there. Behind the line of scrimmage. Hopefully that player's all right. Slow to get up. And that player is slow to get up. Number 27. I mean, I'm going to talk about linebackers more than anywhere else, I think, given my position. But Jane Meadows had read that. Chef's kiss. So it's seemingly, if I know my referee signals, that might be the end of the first. That's gone quick if so. I didn't that's see that so, in the yeah. Chargers game. I don't know what was going on in that Chargers game, but those quarters <laughs> felt... That's why this game kicked off an hour late. An hour. Not not, not, not 20 minutes, not 10 minutes. Oh, Quan says get well soon. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> The rest want to go home, they're like, it's hot. We've been here for hours at this point. They're tired. That's it, they're doing, <laughs> they're, they're doing the mercy clock, but because <laughs> the referees versus the sun. Lindsay didn't bring them a drink, so, you know, what are they gonna stick around for? But again, awful bottle throw there by number five of the Warriors. Just because it was such a bad throw, I am gonna 
<laughs> Rose Wilford. Oh, Rose. I believe, I believe you've got people watching. <laughs> you've got people watching. Awful bottle throw. <laughs> I'm about to get a really, really hateful comment. I can feel it. <laughs> where, is, where is he? Ken, Ken Wilford, there you go, I'm about to grab him <laughs> from Ken. It was an awful bottle throw, but it's not my, because, the, because it's a change of possession, a change of um, quarter, there's nothing really to talk about. 6-0, uh, Wolves are doing very well, considering that I'd argue that they are probably a very big underdog here, but 6-0 mm -hmm. going into the second. Very, very far cry from the Leeds versus Birmingham <laughs> game that we have just finished streaming. <laughs> yeah, I think we've took all the points that could possibly be scored today, so... I mean, for, for Wolves to be in this position in the second quarter, I'm, I'm really impressed and I, I really hope that they see that too. You know, it's always going to be a difficult game when you're coming up against, you know, national champions, plus they've gained a lot of players following Wembley folding. So, you know, they're a great team and, and for Wolves who've come up from D1 to be in this place, shout out, it's massive kudos to the coach in there. So here we go. Am's looking to throw. Oh my, look, oh, <laughs> look was so close to four. Almost connecting with... Danielle Dunlop, I thought she was wearing number two there for a second. <laughs> I thought that she was going to have that, and she would have been, I think, home and dry, dare I say. So that's that's unfortunate. But you can see, you know, Riley's really warming into her arm now, and she's she's ready to play. So it's I'm hearing calls of punt, but I'm also not seeing any change of personnel. There seems to be the. There seems to be some confusion on the Edinburgh sideline. Calls for punt, which results in the Wolves having to take a timeout. So one of the things I will say, this is obviously the NWFL's first kind of season doing special teams, and I have I played 11s, you know, a few years, and I still find it confusing. So we rely quite heavily on the coaches to be like, actually now it's kickoff, you know, now it's this, now it's that. So if one coach says the wrong thing, we all echo it, and that means you end up in these positions where everyone's a little bit confused as to what's going on. So if there is a little bit of chaos on the pitch, just be gentle because it is everyone's kind of first real season at club doing this, and it's hard to install and you know, add two extra players in, install new player books and, you know, the, the full trying to install special teams with the majority with the majority of players that haven't ever played special teams before. So it, it's really difficult and all the teams that are kind of getting through it, you, you can see that it's with a lot of coaching and a lot of, like, the returning players or experienced players kind of guiding the way on that. And it's one of those things where, like, it's so easy to think about, oh, they've, been, they've, they've played for... This mm -hmm. is Edinburgh Wolves' second game. Yep. So they've... Even though they have got these GB players on their squad, mm -hmm. it's not as cut and dry nope. as just that. But again, Edinburgh Wolves beating Peterborough and obviously the Wonder Warriors at 2-0 beating, unfortunately, the Leeds Chargers <laughs> and also the Birmingham Lions as the punting unit comes on. Uh, Big step there. Great spar in the ball, but that's looking like it's going to be going out of bounds, but still a great punt. And Ibs has been telling me that she has got the boot. The golden boot. <laughs> got the golden boot. I think I would back Ibs if, you know, if someone was to say to me, pick out one of the Wolves players that's going to be kicking the ball, I, I'd probably put Ibs up there because, yeah, she's, you know, she, said she, she tends to do a bit of everything. There's nothing that I've seen her do that I'm not, you know, impressed with. And if she says that she can kick, God, I'll believe her. So that has put the um, London Warriors back in their own half. Not quite a coffin corner punt, but probably like on coffin street, <laughs> you know. <laughs> flag on the play, OK? I don't know what that's for. That's a su fun surprise flag for everyone. Guess the flag. Can't be delay of game. They've just got the ball, surely. Have they got too many on? Men. So ten men on the field there. Well, Warriors thinking too much about that. Those eleven sides trying to sneak another player on. So here we go, the Warriors. And it's given to Siobhan Walker. I saw what we've been waiting for. Flag on the play. But Siobhan Walker taken down. Thanks. 
If you need to go, you can just give me a mic, you know. Um, I've, I've just texted a few people to get me a drink, so that's that was. Oh, that. Okay, fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a hot day. I got to stay hydrated. Hydrated. <laughs> what What are you having? What are you having that will hydrate you then? <laughs> it's funny that you should ask. I've definitely asked for water, but I imagine like a cider and black will come back. Oh, that's yeah, it's strange. <laughs> so, Cheval water. <coughs> so, flag on that play, taking the Warriors back off that Siobhan Walker run. But it's going to be first and I'm. Well, they're still, he's still moving the stick. First and 12. Look like a 13. Here we go now. Bit of a low snap. And it's given to Siobhan Walker. Yep, okay, there we go. Let's just move out of the way. So when we say that you don't want to give Siobhan Walker the Siobhan Walker. Walker. Oh, there she goes, yep. just into the end zone. Yeah, there she goes. Yep, okay. <clears throat> yep, thought it was much. Yep, not surprised. <laughs> That was a great run by Shiv. She's a very talented player. Yeah, We've said it a yeah. hundred times. You're probably sick of hearing a name now. But, you know, she bounced outside. The, the Wolves were trying to get that contained and she, she slipped a lane. And as soon as she slipped a lane, it's hard to catch her. Because we had, we had Tom on from the Peter Royals and he was talking about the, the issue with the sort of outside, the outside contain being an issue in the Nines League. So let's see what the Wolves do here for their two-point conversion. It's not, a oh, wait. No, it's not a touchdown. Oh, okay. It was. Okay. It's just the down so, marker is suggesting otherwise. That's, that's what I thought. <laughs> so this is a two-point try. I give it to number 88 of the Warriors. Jokobed Frimpong, number 88. Everything worked exactly as we expected on that. You know, the, the blocks were on point. There's an aeroplane. This is the typical Warriors offense that I think we all expect to see. You know, everyone was doing exactly as they should on their job. There was some really heavy blocking going down. And it was just hard for us to get out of that situation. Oh, thank you, Yasmin. I was about to say that. Sorry, sorry it's, it's difficult to look at look at the comments and obviously have to do the camera and do comms at the same time. But thank you very much for filling that in for me. He's a multi-talented queen. If only I could read. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't give right. you too much. Okay, can't, do, can't do any of these things. So, London Warriors kickoff unit back on. Score stands 14 0 to the Warriors. Big old boot. Oh, kick on that. Oh, and through the lines of 34. Is that um, Devonay that was getting down for 25 from from Warriors? Certainly, one Pilks is right. Number 25. Dev being the one to make the, to make that tackle. The speed that she got downfield was was incredible. You know, she. I don't know if she got blocked on that, but they couldn't hold her for a long time. She was straight no. down. She wasn't messing around, and, and you know, she made a big play there. So shout out to to 25 there. No, we had I had Jay telling me a little bit about number 25, the Warriors that. She's a doctor, or at least a medical student, something mad like that. And yeah, he's good at football. There. But I can't even do anything and be down and be good at football. So here we go. Wolves starting deep in their own half. And the Warriors put the pressure on just so we'd expect that. And the referee is just located in front of us, throws that flag quick. Great throw by the ref. We've had some fantastic ones today. fantastic ref throws today. This is a difficult position for any offense to be in, especially when you've got. 
So there you go, it's going to be a full start on the Wolves, taking them even further back into their own end zone. I think most defensive coordinators now are, are excited and they're going to be setting that pressure to try and get you know, anyone through and try and change yourself to safety in this position. So this is, looks it's going to be a first and 15 for the Wolves, starting at either their five or their own four. There you go, Adamson hands it off. And the Wolves, and the, and the Warriors just swallow it up the run, up the middle. Again, Jo Meadow, she's, she's read that and she's worked it. She's a very experienced player, great player. She, you know, she, she sees what's happening, she's very smart. If you try and run it up the middle near her, it's not the best decision that you make. So it's still gonna be a second and 15 for the Wolves. You need to escape. You need to escape this end zone because the, wall, the Warriors are going to send that pressure. Open it to chalk two points onto the board with a safety. This Locked is when you it. hope Riley's got that, you know, that movement and she can scramble if she needs to because she's in a difficult position, but she can run that. Here we go. So, popped out. 2.99. A really great safe reception there by Moody. Um, great hands on Moody. I'm, I'm surprised. I know she can catch, but Moody's really working them balls today. And Candice Simon, number 15 for the Warriors, with the tackle there. Here we go. It's going to be. It's going to be third and twelve for the Wolves now. They're going to need to escape. They're going to need to escape this situation quick if they want to stop the Warriors from getting some good field position. Bit of a low snap there. Thrown out to Moody. A 15 and 54. Taking Moody down. And I tell you what, I assume that the Wolves are going to punt, but to get it to a to get it to a third mm -hmm. and two is still quite commendable. Fourth and two, sorry, is still quite commendable. Yeah, they started off in a really difficult position, so for them to kind of make this full position already, like that's really impressive. That was great running by Moody, but again, you know, the, the Warriors' defense had read it really well, and, and they're just double team in the, the player that's got the ball, and there's only a certain amount that Moody can run through people. <laughs> Having Jane again, she was always a difficult player. Ibs has got it, doesn't see people, see not know they're doing. Ibs with a... You know, it's a, a great kick. And that took an, a good Edinburgh bounce. The Warriors are going to be starting very deep down their side of the field. We might have to start calling Ibs Golden Boot now, dare I say. I'm a bit scared of that one. I'm happy with it. <laughs> And again, it's a bit difficult, as someone just because the yard markers are down on this side of the pitch. You heard that? You heard that one, didn't you? Do you want a shot? A shot? Hey? A what? A shot? No. Hey? No. Very beginning. No. It's going to be. I think it's on the 25-yard line for the Warriors. And it's going to be a run. Oh my lord. That is an incredible run. And here we go. Huh? Huh? Bed Frimpong. Scored a touchdown earlier. Or the two point earlier. It was a, it was a great run. Another six points on the board for the London Warriors. 20 0. She was just running like through people. People weren't even like kind of getting near her. She was like, what? And that was a, a really great run. <laughs> Got a great Obviously, shout out. Hometown of the Chargers. <laughs> Never had to pay for a, a beer in her life. And that is through the uprights. And good. That's going to be an extra point for the Warriors. 21 0. 
And that was Sam on the kick. You might hear and see some comments saying Twinkle Toes, and Twinkle Toes, that is what she yep. is. That's bad. That's filming. <laughs> this guy right here, this guy right here, he's yeah. the real MVP. Justice for Mark Brown. All right. We'll get back to the field. They're only putting on the fielding team, but this man right here, if you don't see him come back up, don't be surprised. <laughs> So the Wolves... <laughs> so the Wolves will be kicking it away again as they lead it 21-0. Here we go again. Great boot again. I'm just covered by 34. I think that was the right decision there. You know, she could see that people were coming down. It bounced in a bit of a difficult way. And the, the most important thing is that you secure that ball in this position, you know. Can't be giving it away. For anyone that's interested, Mark Brown's uh, reappeared from the bushes. He's got that ball. I think he's got stung a bit. Oh. No, he's got it. He has got it. He has found it. But we'll go back to the football. But he has found it. Yeah. But fair enough to... He's literally pulled a piece of glass off his shoe. Fantastic. Fantastic. Seems to be a bit, a bit of a bubble there. Number 34. Having to just dive on it. I'm going to say Emily Dyinger for the Wolves. Here we go. Seven, and I've got eight on the field at the moment. And there's... And there's whistles blown. <laughs> Did they call a timeout there? I don't know. The ref referee just blowed the whistle. I didn't see any signs for any timeouts. So I don't know. I'm sure the White Hat official will make sure to tell us. Edinburgh playing very, very hard. Not too much of a surprise, but with it 21 points down, game may be escaping them here, but you can't say they're not playing well. First and 10 on, looks like they're 23. The player in motion. And taken down to the... The thing is with the Warriors is that when they tackle people, is whenever they make a tackle, there are about two or three London Warriors around the tackle at any given point, taking the Wolves back to a second and 12. And outside of those original down 10 yards is the, where the Wolves seem to find themselves. Has in motion, and it's going to be a keep from Adamson. Potentially bringing that back to the original line of scrimmage. As I don't know who runs Ryan Air, but I don't like him. He's quite annoying. As Mason, I'll keep you informed. Pilks is limping back to where we've set up because she had to go and take a shot. It was a baby Guinness for anyone that was uh, wondering. It, How I'm was pretty it? sure it curdled in the heat, but... How was it? It was, it was warm. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and it's going to be third... It's going to be third and seven. I'm leaving my car here. 8-7 yeah. in motion. Comes behind. Low snap again. Flag on the play. That's unfortunate. I feel like Riley was ready, ready to take that ball then. They keep going into this kind of double back situation and it's working for them. It means that they've kind of got that protection and they don't know which way they're running. That's unfortunate. It makes it harder for the defence to read. They don't know which way the ball's going to flow out because, you know, they're both really um, able ball carriers and, and both of them great blockers that are in the backfield 87 and 99. Uh, 20... 
Right. Third and I was looking like a 13 for the Wolves now. Again, the Wolves continually finding themselves in these something and then a team number. Shouldn't be that. Should be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And it's going to be a pass. Adamson's looking. 87 for both of them. Number 5 to beat. And number 5, number 13, referee. Referee calling Adamson out of bounds, but that's going to be a very, very close spot. Will it be a first down for the Wolves? If not, it's going to be close. Uh, <laughs> fourth and half a yard for the Edinburgh Wolves. I mean, yeah, we, I think most people are saying, surely we're going we're gonna to QB sneak this, but have they got the Philly kind of special in them? We don't know. Now, here's the thing now. Ibs is coming onto the field, a punter. Fourth uh, and half a yard. <laughs> are they going to sneak it? Make it till you make it, girls. No. And Ibs, Ibs does kick it away. Over the head of Sean Walker. They've got to get downfield on that. Picked up by front to the sideline. Just runs to the sideline. Uh, half a yard, I don't know. Uh, you yeah. like the Philadelphia Eagles, you might be saying, oh, <laughs> you've read QB sneak. But I is the Philadelphia Eagles are an awful football team. Um, I disagree with that comment, and he's trying to he's trying to make me bow, and I'm not going to. I'm going to stay quite calm during this scenario situation. Are you just about again? Huh? You just brought again? I don't know what you're doing. Like. No, <laughs> He's standing no. there with a dolphin's top on. <laughs> Go on, mate. <laughs> oh, my teammate, no, my teammate did not remember. <laughs> no one cares. Yeah, we shanked it in the Super Bowl. There's one to remember. <laughs> Wait, you remember Super Bowls? Um, I had to watch it back a few times, like, yeah. over the next week, because on the day, Lord only knows. There we go, there's going to be a run. Looks like the middle, but that's Siobhan Walker. Siobhan Walker making me go back to my camera on this side. Yeah, Siobhan Walker's got a touchdown. Yeah, cool. That was really unfortunate. You know, they, they nearly run her to the sideline. Thought he kind of needed to stay at home a little bit there, but she got turned in. That it's really easy to get perfect. turned in, like, don't get me wrong. But we, you need to run her out to her side. You need to kind of build her all on this. She's, she's going to run through people. She's going to find the gap. So you, your best bet on this is to compress the space. If she's got outside of the space, you've got to take her to her sideline. <laughs> Mark Brown's getting ready to, to go back in the bushes. He's informed us that there are stinging nettles in this bush. <laughs> We've got a linebacker running on late to, to pick up someone's spot there. Special teams, it gets you. Here we go. And it's up, and it's through, and it's hit the tree, but that is good. <laughs> Boy hating his life. 28 mil as it stands here in Leeds. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> It was a great kick, and it was actually pretty good pressure there from the, the Wolves' um, defence. So it seems to be, sort of be what we said, is that I was excited to come here and watch Siobhan Walker play, and Siobhan Walker has played. She puts on a show, and it will, what, like, maybe midway through Q2, and, and she's already out here giving it's, us a level level. It's one of those things where she starts from... Deep, like very deep inside London Warwick Territory and by the time she's got to the other end zone just as she passes by this, mm -hmm. the second camera we have on this um, near this goal it's, it's almost like a light jog yeah I mean she always looks like she's jogging she could you know she's like Usain Bolt and she still looks like she's jogging but when she's actually jogging and it's still kind of quicker than most people's sprints that's quite something so I boot away great spin on the ball and that's going to be taken by number seven I'm saying breaking a few tackles, but 30 and 24 of the Warriors manage to bring number seven down. Number seven, Daniel Dunlop in charge of the ball there. That was a, a great run by Danielle. Um, you know, she was finding the gaps in there. Um, 
we're just being asked if we want cheeseburgers. I would love a cheeseburger. And chips. And chips, please, yeah. Oh, yeah, please. Three cheeseburgers and chips. Yeah, just the two. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm taking. Why am I taking um, the cheeseburger? Because I've got a three-hour drive after this. So I'm just hungry. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, great run by seven there. You know, she was finding the gaps, but London managed to kind of stay in the lanes and compress that space and and give her nowhere to go. But that that you know was shaping up to be a pretty decent return. So kind of well read by both sides of the ball there. Riley calling tempo there. I'm hoping she's going to be moving quick. Seven in motion. There's a QB keeper. Adamson's going, breaking a few blocks. <laughs> Love it. Go on, Moody. Risa Laurel to Moody. What a play. What a sensational play. This kind of speaks, you know, volumes about what what the QB there is is capable of. She's read that perfectly. She sacrificed herself, took it as far as she can, and and when she knew she needed to ship that off, she didn't have any hesitation getting it across to Moody, who was ready to go. So that was a, a really, really well drilled play by them. I love plays like that. You don't see them enough. Mm -mm. I've got I've got it in my head that I think that that's going to be the future of American football. Those rugby style laterals. You know, as, as an offense, when I'm on offense, I would love that. As defense, that's kind of your worst nightmare, yes. isn't it? Because you think you've got someone now dead, and then bam, balls to someone else. <laughs> so it's going to be a timeout for the Wolves. I'm sure, everyone's going to take on some water because though there is a nice breeze finally in Leeds, it's still hot. It's so hot. Aircon on as soon as you get in the car. What's up? Oh, uh, not another time being. So I thought you. Uh, so I thought Tom was pointing at the um, Starlink stuff, and I got. <laughs> I worried. You worried me for a bit. I'm more impressed at this iron brew bottle. I thought you, she'd give you a can. No, she's come out with a. Fancy, no, it's, it's the proper. It's, it's, the, it's the proper stuff. Yeah. You don't get that in Leeds, do you? No. That's yeah, straight. That's straight for the sauce. I mean, obviously, <laughs> obviously, for the first 50 minutes it was delicious, and then it got hot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 1901 iron brew. We're not sponsored or anything, but. Although, if I'm if you're watching, which yeah, you might be, because it's Edinburgh Wolves. Uh, 28 nil. 28 nil. Second. Done in. Done in. There's some of the leads charges there, Thank making you, sure we know what's going on. How's it going? Our food has arrived. And don't worry, Lizzie, I'm not going to eat this food until half time. I <laughs> think it's the same. Is it HRW? Tony Romo doesn't get offered enough cheeseburgers whilst commentating. <laughs> yeah, go up, Tony Romo. I'm better than you. <laughs> Have some of that. A good field position for the Wolves. Pulling out a very, very, very nice trick play. 84 in motion. Adamson back to throw. Adamson's got space. Throws it to six, but immediately... Immediately hammered by number 25 of the Warriors. Number 25, Dev, who Jay was telling me about. Again, that's why I hate it. Like, being a doctor and playing American football, I just... That's super, that's superhero standard stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I saw from her Instagram and stuff, she's like prepping for exams right now. <laughs> she's been revising for exams like until pretty late last night and then, you know, four, four hour bus drive down. Uh, it's not really pleasant for her. So yeah, to see her kind of playing at this standard while well, she's studying, she's got a job, you know, she, she's out here doing as much as she can. But it's one of those things where it's been able to do all that and then st like still being a player that, if a coach comes up and tells you about a player, you know they're special. And that's going to be kept by Adamson. Very, very nice. Very, very nice take. And Adamson's going for that down marker, and it looks like that's going to be a first down for the Wolves. Another great run by Riley. She's, you know, she's really coming out today and making a name for herself. And, as she, you know, as she should, she's, she's got great awareness. She backs herself in these scenarios, and she, you know, she outrun a couple of linebackers there who were really trying to flow across, but they just didn't get the edge on her. It's fantastic fake as well, though. I'm, I, sometimes I worry that, you know, good old George, the guy on the second camera today, a friend of mine from school, never watched an American football game in his life until Leeds versus Birmingham. So hopefully he didn't get faked out by that, but I'm sure <laughs> that he did. So if he did, I apologise. <laughs> so 
So here we go, it's going to be a fresh set of downs for the Wolves. Low snap again. Adamson getting out of the way, 17 of the Warriors. Oh, 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 oh. Seven. Not quite going to be a first down. Emily Bowser there on the reception, putting the Warriors in great field position. Yeah, the lead chargers want everyone to know that that was a great throw there. They're quite happy about that. That was really well played, the, the hiding in the shade, and, and they're seeing what's happening. I was say, we said it earlier today that there's not a lot of shade here no. at the lead chargers' home pitch, but yeah. some of the lead chargers who've stuck around are certainly enjoying what little there is of it. Mm -hmm. How are the chips? They're really good. I'm sorry you if go. you've got my food noises. <laughs> So here we go, best field position for the Wolves. Here we go, run right. Adamson's kept it. Is that Shea on defense, he's 17? For the Warriors? Yeah, so yes, I'm, it is. I'm just asking, you know, Shea? Yes, it is. Uh, okay, an all-star, but no, I didn't, I didn't realize she'd played defense but she's you know a starting tight end she can go out of slots so she's a heavy offense player so i was stunned to see her on defense but you know she's big and she's strong so i don't blame them <laughs> so here we are ladies and gentlemen the two minute warning is upon us and it seems to be that the edinburgh wolves are on the cusp of getting a td second down here looking let's see here we'll see what they can cook up Oh, and a big, big tackle there. Yeah, that was really well read by Chrissy. She, this is kind of her bread and butter stuff. She loves to flow with the ball. She saw it and, and she made that tackle. And that's quite a crucial tackle for them. They, they've now pushed them to third down. The running back probably could have had an edge, but she didn't quite get it because Chrissy read that perfectly. So here we go now. Two minute warning's gone. Edible Wolves not in any rush. It'd be interesting to know if, if they're aware of the kind of time constraint here or if it's just something that we kind of overlook. You know, the, the Chargers definitely did it. Here we go. And it's kept by Adamson. Adamson outruns a couple of what? She's still going. And Huge play. So the referee's put his hands up. I'm going to wait for the white hat official here because last time I got it wrong. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, are. the Edinburgh Wolves have got some points on the board. That was, a, and it, again, uh, you know, I think I'm going to turn into a Riley fan club here, but that was really well run. She had a big hit on her, but, you know, the defensive player didn't clamp on enough, and, and Riley just kept going, and she took her for a, a few extra yards and got that touchdown. Like, that's a really, really great running by Riley and some really great blocking by the Wolves. So here we are. It looks like I see Ibs on the pitch. So it wouldn't surprise me if this is going to be looked at to be kicked through. But given that the uh, Wolves are currently down 28 to 6. And Adamson's still on the pitch. Of course she is. Can they make it another two here for the Wolves? And it's kept by Adamson. Adamson's looking for holes. And she's being pushed through. Cheers from the Warriors sideline. I'm not seeing any signals here from mm -hmm. any officials. I need something, guys. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to say it's not gone in. And if I'm so, that's unfortunate. I'm going to say it's not gone in. I can see if it's over. The score still stands 28 to 6. London Warriors over the Wolves. Less than two minutes remain. But the Wolves kicking unit will come onto the field. Just taking a painkiller. Tabs is looking yeah, at me yeah, a bit I funny. Was, I, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think it was like a weirdly packaged <laughs> Tic Tac. <laughs> you never know. That's unfortunate that the Wolves didn't get the extra points there. But, you know, massive shout out because that was a, a great drive by them. I was surprised to see Hibs in the backfield. I think we both went. It must be a kick. And... But again, you know, I can imagine Ibs is a strong runner, so I'd, I'd back her in a lot of situations. She's hard to take down sheets. She delivers them big hits. I'd put her in the backfield. I'd take her any day. It's 
So Warriors just getting themselves ready for a return. They look quite skinny in here. Ah, wait, I think we're moving out a little bit. Here we go now. Ibs back to kick. Frimpong and Walker. The two receivers at the back. High kick, making sure that that ball goes out. Ooh. Frimpong or Walker. Is that Devon again? Certainly is. Mm -hmm. You know, the ball was high in the air, and I think, you know, the, the Warriors panicked a little bit, and everyone's kind of getting fingers to it, so it's a good job that, you know, someone that actually took a bit of control there, so Dev took that ball, and she was like, well, now's my time to shine, let's get on a return. You, you'll see every now and then down as a returner. Um, so it was interesting to, you know, get them in the middle, because we expect a lot of different kind of kicks in the NWFL, and we do get a lot of mid-kicks, so it's good to see that, you know, London have got the the kind of coaching staff to put her in a position where if something goes wrong, she can take it. So we have got an injured Edinburgh Wolf down on the field. <laughs> Trying to get it caught on air traffic control, that kick. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is the second of five games at Sport Tank. We'll be live streaming this weekend, as tomorrow I will be making the drive to Southampton for the Solent Seahawks versus the Rushmore Knights in the under-19s Division 1 South. Also in Solent, it will be the Thrashers hosting the Bristol Aztecs. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the one that I'm looking forward to the most it's a shame, again, I, will, I know I'll be commentating, and it's a shame I can't watch it because I'm looking forward to it, and so are lots of other people. It is the Portsmouth Dreadnoughts versus the Somerset Wyverns in what is potentially Division 2's most anticipated matchup of 2023. That will be coming to you live tomorrow. But, yeah, three more games. Leeds to Southampton. What a drive. What a fun drive for me. <laughs> Making sure that you get the miles in. Yep. If Sports Tank want to invest in a jet for you, that'd be great. Yeah, there's... I looked at it. Gloucestershire does have an airport. Leeds does have an airport. We do. I was, I was waiting for Steve to give me that company plane, but <laughs> it, it did not come. I had to use the I-10. <laughs> Watching Tebbs climb out of an I-10 with all of his kit was, was maybe the best thing that's happened today, if I'm being honest. Well, here's the thing, because the people don't know that I am six foot two, <laughs> and the I-10 is a small car, <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I have to fit all the kit in it, because here's the thing, ladies and you never see the kit because you're at home. It's a lot of kit. It's a lot of kit. And it has to fit in my I-10, and then I have to fit into my I-10. It was a little bit like watching, you know, like a clown get out of a car, and yeah, just more cool. clowns keep getting out, but it's actually just loads of kit. Yeah, cool, 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 <laughs> cool, cool, yeah, cool, cool, yeah, cool. If anyone wants to continue that clown reference throughout this weekend, that's great. Yeah. Loads of games to keep that going through. Loads of games. How many games? <laughs> Three more, <laughs> more games. games. Okay. <laughs> and here we are now. We are back in Leeds. The injured Edinburgh player has been taken to the sideline. As Warriors don't have a lot of time left. Giving it number two. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Can we even see what it is? So it's going to be holding. Holding. So that's going to be holding on number 50 of the Warriors, and they're going to be going back a big chunk of yardage. And when there's not much time left on the clock, it's not particularly ideal. If there's any team that are back to get out of this situation, though, it's going to be the Warriors. They've got such a great set of players. So I don't think the fact that they're kind of like you know, first and 20, I don't think that they'll be bothered by that. Got some moving around. Big shift here for the Warriors. That's a lot of moving, yeah. Calls for PI. <laughs> 
it, I, I wouldn't have said it was a PI. I, if I was one of the coaches, I'd probably be saying it as well. <laughs> and what's really interesting is that, you know, the, the Warriors coaches are very calm and composed here. You know, we've, we, we see a lot of chatting back and, you know, players like to put their opinion in, but the Warriors are doing really good at controlling their players and making sure that they stay calm and just, you know, stay on focus and on track for what they should be doing. Here we are now, it's going to be a second and 15 for London here. Looking for a pass again, looking for a pass again. So Angie's no, back 12's on the run, 12's on the run, 12's got space. 12 gets the first down. Ooh. And 12 seems to be keeping going. going. Ooh. And a TD for the Warriors flag all the way back. Oh, oh, the line no. of spinach does not look like that's going to stand. Oh. That is very unfortunate. You know, that was a great run, an uh, incredible run by Ange there, and, and she made that yards and she's run, you know, Joe, you know, she'll be saying in it, let's do it again. We back ourselves in this position. So is Ninja Wolf done, it seems, but a flag back. That's going to take it all very, very far back for the London Warriors. I have, ne <laughs> yeah, I've never seen Angelina run so fast. She start, start running more. <laughs> she's a quarterback, is Ange, where she's got an arm on her and she she trusts the people that are around her to, to block for her. But if she, if she needs to, she's more than happy to take that ball. And you'll see her putting her shoulder down into contact. She's a very fierce runner. You know, she, she doesn't do it, she doesn't have to, but when she does it, she does it really well. Don't let Shiv Walker get space. Really well handled there by the um, Wolves defence. You know, they just pushed her out to her side, which is, you know, exactly what we need to be doing. As long as she ain't got space, then she can't go anywhere. And that was really well handled by them. Again, I know that, you know, Lindsay will be watching this back when she's home. So massive shout out to Lindsay for a really, really well trained and well drilled defence to just be able to manage the players that they're playing against. It's a difficult one, so it's really good to see that they've, they've got a really solid game plan. They know what they're doing here. So it's a run by Shiv. She's got out of a tackle somehow. She's a contortionist. And she's got space. Oh, there we go. Sean Walker got 40 to beat. Mm -hmm. And she's to got beat. them blockers. Now there we go. There's a flag back of the line. Uh, <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, there is another flag. <laughs> and there's a flag back of the line of scrimmage. Let's see who it's on. Not another one. <laughs> uh, there's got to be a point where we just stop trying to do these long runs because it's actually tiring when there's a flag. But here we go. So what that coach is saying is it's not a block in the back because she's moving as she's blocking. So, you know, I think what, she's tr what he's trying to say is that the defensive player is like showing that back, in which case it wouldn't be a block in the back. But I can't really see exactly what he's saying. But, you know, they're quite frustrated about it, I think, as it should be. They've had two, <laughs> two touchdowns now pulled back, but a flag's a flag and we've kind of got to respect the rest decision on this. Here we go. So here we go now. It's so time expired on that play. So well, from what I heard from the referee, so this will be the final play of the first half of football. Well, the first no, the second first half of football <laughs> in Leeds. There you go. <laughs> 
Flag on the plate, yep, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Please, please, refs, please, I want to eat this cheeseburger, man. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool, yeah, cool, cool, yeah, cool, cool. I'm yeah. just glad it's warm out. I think that's the reason that our burgers are still hot at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have eaten the majority of my chips, they're all right. So the, the Warriors have got a third, a third and 30, 29, yeah. But they'll probably still get it. <laughs> Imagine if they get this, I'd crease. <laughs> I, again, I, I would not be surprised yeah, if they true. took it in. Well, no, what happens if I eat my burger? And Kiwi's, the, Kiwi's on a move. She almost, I don't know if she pumped faked or if she was just like, nah, I'm going to try it. Ooh. And there we go. <laughs> Waiting for the ref's call. I mean, that's a great play. Fair say by the Wolves, they, they just moved her out. You know, Angie took it. She ran with it. We're now waiting for them to see if it is definitely half time. Please. I mean, given that they're Adam Wolves players taking their helmets off midway, I think it's probably half time. So, ladies and gentlemen, as it stands here for the second game of today, it's 28 to 6 for the London Warriors over the Edinburgh Wolves. And, you know, because it's Saturday, go get yourself a lovely drink, go get yourself, I imagine, a cold drink. Mm -hmm. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to eat this cheeseburger and you will have a review when we come back. All right? <laughs> so, just be, just be aware of that. Okay, catch you in a bit. We'll be back here. But, score on Curly. London Warriors 28, Edinburgh Wolves 6.
Hello, hello, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here in Leeds for the second half of the Enemy Wolves versus the London Warriors. The score stands at 28 to 6. Wind is picking up here in Leeds, thank God, because it is a hot, hot day. <laughs> Quick kick. Kick. I think that's Frimp on number 88. Uh -huh. He's got it. <laughs> He's got space. Ooh. And what a tackle. And that's 27 miles for the, for the Edinburgh Wolves. That was great hustle. You could see her really working to try and get to that ball and a, a, a damn good tackle, but there is a flag on the play. Oh, of course there is. There yep. be. I have a sneaking suspicion it might be a block in the back. I mean, to be fair, the block, I think it was by Sophie. It was quite impressive. So, ladies and gentlemen, as that flag's on the play, that, that ball's going to not be starting so favourably for the Warriors. It's going to be about the halfway point of the field, which makes it difficult for me to choose which camera to use. That's a me problem, <laughs> If you want, if you want uh, a review of the burger, I had to give half to the other cameraman. But it was, yeah, it was exactly what I needed. I feel rejuvenated. I feel revived. They were sharing a burger. I had my own. It was actually that, quite romantic. They did it loading the tramp style. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> when did, did me and George just sucking on a burger. Yeah, it was a bit weird to watch, but I was here for it. <laughs> sucking on a burger and a beautiful northern sun. <laughs> Pilk's play, somehow got a violin out. I don't know where, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. But, but Warriors not not getting the field position that that they that they wanted, but it's still good. As let's see what Brand is another Ryanair. I don't know where it's going. <laughs> so two on the left here for the Warriors, and it's a run of the wheel from number two. Oh, stunning! Let's see if I can catch it. And just walking in. Absolutely sensational. I don't see any flags, but we always need to check. Doesn't seem to be a single flag on the play. There is a, a wolf down at the moment. That's I think good. she probably caught her fingers trying to just reach for Giselle there. But, you know, it was it was one of those situations where you jump and pray and hope that you get him. And I think number ten just sadly missed. You know, she was she was literally fingertips away there. But that was a great run by number two. Giselle or Bamu number two with the TD for the Warriors. The injured Edinburgh Wolf is walking back to the wall sideline. There always nice to see for the injured players to be able to walk back. I think it's number four. She's been quite a key player on the Wolves' defence, so hopefully she's coming back up it um, soon. So here we go. The Wolves taking their time to get to this huddle, which says to me that it's going to be a two-point conversion. Yeah, that's quite unusual. I would have expected uh, a kick kind of from them. You know, they've, they've got the means to do it. And so, yeah, I'm surprised to see that they're, they're going for a two-point. Charlie, tight, Charlie, tight. Charlie, tight. Charlie, tight, tight, tight. 44 in motion, or just not set. <laughs> I think it was the latter there. And the QB, drag me with this fumbled, a big drop! A big drop! Was that <laughs> Delta? <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be a little uh, zebra discussion, I think, for a hot minute. So Angie, oh, that's a tough oh, no. call. Good points. So, oh, let's, look it up. so let's, let's fill you in on that one. So, because it's a two-point fumble, but it needs to be recovered by the person who fumbled it, mm -hmm. which it wasn't. So that try is... Hey. No good. That's unlucky. I mean, I don't think a lot of us knew that. I think a lot of the coaches on the sideline didn't know that, and the ref was confident. He said it with some pizzazz. Well, so. like, <laughs> well, the, the, worst thing, the worst thing that a ref can do is to doubt themselves. No, it's not a two-point. 
he, you know, yeah, he backed himself. He knew what he was talking about. That's that's really unlucky. And when we talk about how Angie can run the ball, I think that's a really clear example. I think she was unlucky on that. But when you see she's confident into that run, and again, great awareness by the, the Warriors, because even if the ball was out, you know, there were players jumping on that ball to make sure it was secured. That's the right thing to do. It's very unfortunate. It's a new rule learn. If anyone else knew that, let me know. I'm amazed at you. I'm sure we're about to get some comments in regards to that rule. Yeah. Kick from the Warriors. Going end over end. Great receiver. Caught by seven. Ooh. 25 again for the Warriors. <laughs> She's having a, like, her special teams, I think, is kind of like where it's at. Like, special teams feels like Devon A's bread and butter right now. She's a, a great corner. Don't, you know, don't at me for that. I, I back her as a corner. But seeing her on special teams, like, she's really coming in on her own. It, it feels like one of them players who, you know, potentially really masters of special teams. And, and she's just, you know, as a backup GB corner. It's, you know, there's worse positions to be in. She's great. She's starting at London. She's a great player. But seeing her on special has been you know, quite eye-opening. I think people need to be scouting her. Bear with us again. Another plane flow overhead as the Edinburgh Wolves offence takes the field. Coming in motion. Adamson looking. Adamson's got time. Adamson's got a lot of time. And it's oh, 22 of the Warriors. Selfie George on the pick. Sophie George, this is a fun fact because I'll ask her this. She's a ball hawk, okay? So when she gets the ball, she plays netball. A lot of the players that you'll see that have got great hands somehow play netball. So if there's a ball in the area, Sophie George is going to get hands on it and she's going to take it from you. You do not want to throw near that girl. She's got incredible hands, great awareness. She can do the rest of it, but Lord, I don't know how they've not got her as a wide receiver because she has, honestly, the, one of the best hands I've seen for a very long time. Like one thing within that play, Adamson had time. Adamson had bags of time. Like a huge shout out to the the O line there because they were just fending off. You know that. Dare I say the D line for Warriors didn't really stand a chance. She she could have had a little cup of tea, an iron brew. Dare we say? A little warm iron brew, never a warm iron brew. <laughs> That's for tabs only. And off to number two. Whoa. Is that 99? Was that a wild moody appeared? I think that was 99. You know, she, we, we've, we're seeing her on offense a lot. Defense is her primary position, it always has been. We all know Moody, the defensive end, she's terrifying. So she can play a linebacker as well. She can pretty much play anywhere. And to see her read that, it was read perfectly. And she come in, I think she'll be kicking herself on a high tackle. Love you, Moody. Love you, Lindsay. Please don't come at me for that. But. You know, she is a fierce player and she, she just read that incredibly well and, and shut it down. And that's the kind of stuff that we need to see right now. So second and ten for the Warriors now. So again. There's Wolves around that ball where they're coming down for her. Oh, we got an injured wolf down on the field. I really hate these planes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so that was Ibs taking a bit of a hit there. She, you know, she's never going to go down easy. So, so you're going to have to drag her off the field. But she'll be back on before you know it. You know, I think I think having Ibs been able to read that, it looks like they've put Moody in as more of a free safety kind of position so that she can flow with the ball and make them tackles when they're needed. That's a great call. She can read it really well, and she's she's a fast, fast player. So it's good to see Moody back on the on the defence. I'm sure we're going to see on offence as well. Please don't. <laughs> Mark Brown is, is getting a bit happy because we've made some comments about his MVP, so he's trying to play ball with Tebs now, throwing the ball every now and then, but there's some expensive cameras. Tebs, who's holding the microphone and the camera, <laughs> not a spare hand in sight, it will hit me in the bounce. <laughs> Here we go now, for another first down for London. Given to two one more time. Ah, uh, 16, oh, Shiv Walker. I love that, you know what? I love and Walker to just goes in for another TD. I love to watch Siobhan Walker pull 
one of the like O line down or a tight end with her to make sure that she's got them blockers because she will stand and she will hide and she will make sure that them blockers are in her way. Like that is a really smart running. I think 75, I think that's Delta. She's running out there and she's making sure that no one touches Shiv there. That, that's a really great play by both of them players. So it's looking like the Warriors are setting up for a kick. Mark Brown is getting ready to retrieve what is going to be a bush ball. And Mark in the blue tank top. Let's see how far deep he's going to go into, into the bush. High oh. snap. Walker's got it. Oh. 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 A stiff arm. Walker dodging. Walker going down. And it's another. And Siobhan Walker just puts another two on the board. 42 to 6. <laughs> Siobhan Walker is a savage for that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hit you with a very, very interesting news fact. Siobhan Walker <laughs> is very good at football. Very good. I know everyone knew it. If you, I put it to this, if you didn't know, you know now. All right? You know, she read it. She stiff-armed a couple of people. She wangled out a couple of, of tackles and then thought, Do you know what, I'm just going to go the opposite way just in case. Like, that was... That was just, you know, Shiv Walker. That I would love to say the blocking was great, but that was all on Shiv. And being on the receiving end, sadly, of a Siobhan Walker stiff arm, I just thought some prayers to all the Wolves players there. So being informed by the official that it is now a rolling clock. Looks like Ibs is back on the field, so that's nice to see. Another great boot. Yeah, great kicks. Oh. Oh. Look who's there, though. Devon oh, was right downfield. Spins out, spins out those 27. That's a, a great return, considering the pressure she had. You know, you had Devon again coming straight through, uh, seemingly untouched. And people, you know, the, the Warriors were running down. So for seven to keep a kind of composure there and read what was happening, that was really well done. We've just been offered donuts. Um, so there will be a short interlude. <laughs> we've had, we've, we've been offered burgers. We forgot to put them out as a prize. So I'm being so informed that the Chargers forgot to put them out as a prize, which now means that we can actually benefit from them. Beautiful. I've gone for a raspberry white chocolate number. What I've have you just gone, gone for? for the... Right. What? That's the word. Right. We've got a Krispy Kreme full 12 pack, and Tebs has gone okay. for a chocolate glazed donut. Do you, do you want to know? Do you want to know why, Pilks? Grow up. No. Do you want to know why? <laughs> right. because, I, because because I am one of the few people. I'm a big nerd. I'm allergic to peanuts, bro. Oh. There's no peanuts in here. Oh shit. He's been in farm. There's no peanuts, and now he's and now he's not got any other excuse for getting and a and chocolate glazed donut. And, 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 and now you may be swearing on stream. It looks like it's going some charity money. Where are we going to this time? No, they're still going to mind. Oh, okay, so we get so Tabs will be putting some money into mines because he made a swear. Uh, no, ten, and that's because I was being made fun of for my choice of donuts. I don't know what's worse, the fact that you swore or the fact that you still got a chocolate ring. <laughs> the problem, the problem, the problem is, is that I've already put my fingers on it, and I, and I don't want, I don't want to put it back in the box and pick up another one because that's just a bit gross. I'd have talked to. <laughs> He's gonna fight with you. No, I do, it's just a bit grim. And number 25. If I know Devonair, the way that I know Devonair, I imagine she'll be coming back on the field before we know it. She's a she's a tough girl. Hopefully it's nothing nothing too serious. It's always good to see like people have been walking off the field pretty easy, so nothing too serious is happening, I'm sure. We'll, we'll see her on a kickoff very soon. Tebs looks sad eating his, his chocolate ring donut for anyone that cares. <laughs> I think we're going to stop drinking around this time. Do you want me to get your pack? Yeah. I ain't got any money. Uh, card. You can sit. Oh. Do you want my card? So here we go now. Edinburgh starting on. Looking like their 24, 25 yard line. <laughs> Given to Moody now. Mm. That was really well read by Sophie George. We've said her name a few times, but she's having a great game. She, she's just flown straight across. She's read it. You know, Riley did a convincing um, fake, and I believed her for a hot second, but they'd given it to Moody, but it, it didn't phase, phase Sophie there. 
So Wolves having a loss of one on that play. Moose in the back foot. Snap was a bit, snap was fumbled. Adamson still got room. Oh, what a grab by Moody, sensational. <laughs> one handed <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. Eat your heart out. What a sensational grab there. That was incredible by Moody, but I think that the other thing to point out was the O-line, the blocking there was, again, incredible. They had pressure coming. The, there was a point where two, three of them won the floor, and they got back up, and they blocked like their heart needed to. And Riley had all the time to make sure that she could throw that ball to Moody, and she was confident in that throw because her O-line were not backing down. So a big, big chunk of yardage for the Edinburgh Wolves. Forty-two six. So Adam's got it, and just a bit too low for number seven. I don't care what Pilk says. That donut was nice. I mean, I'm sure there was better ones in the box available. I think there was only maybe one taken. So out of like ten donuts, he still chose a chocolate ring. Well, I don't know what's got peanut butter in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not. I'm not trying to die in the north. We've all got EpiPens. Have you got an EpiPen? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, you actually do? I actually have an EpiPen. Oh, I could have had one then. He could have, he could have missed it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that chocolate ring donut for nothing. End of a quarter. Hello, guys, gentlemen, it seems that I can never come back to Leeds. A lot is going to be the end <laughs> of Q3. It does feel like the Wolves' offence are really settling into the floor now. They have some really good blocking, a great blocking that's going on, especially a massive shout out to the O-line there. They've got some really good blocking like across the board, but they're really settling into it now. So it's really good to see what they're providing and, and what they're capable of. You know, it's a difficult defence to come against. There's there's so many great players on, on the Warriors' defence. So to see the Wolves kind of marching, and even if it is like those big plays, those big plays still matter. So second and ten for the Wolves now. Low snap going yeah. all over the place. Picked up by 27. Got Moody as a blocker. <laughs> and to be fair, you know when a when a snap goes like that, I think it was very well recovered for them to kind of get the ball and not lose yards. Is is quite impressive. I think. Uh, I think Moody was scared about who had the ball, so it looked a little bit like both of them were just running with the ball. It looked like a double team kind of scenario. So to even pick up a game of one on mm -hmm. that play is quite incredible. And that is going to leave the Wolves with a third and nine. You know, we have seen a few low snaps today. There's another Ryan R playing up in the air. We've seen a few low snaps today, but the you know Riley's really able to to still make a bit of a play. Seven motion. Adamson's got it. Great play, I would say, there by the Warriors. They they saw Adamson. She was ready to keep the ball there. Uh, she had the option outside, and they bounced her back in. So it meant really that she didn't have anywhere to go. Um, that's kind of what you want to do with a with a QB that's um, able to run. But it was great to see that the, the Warriors' defence are really pulling together and, and working as a bit of a team on, and a pack in this situation. I will say 15's had quite a tough job today. She's been on the edge and dealing with a lot of the runs and trying to push, push back into that space. So shout out to 15 from the Warriors, who's kind of been working that all day. It's quite a tiring job. You can feel a little bit on an island. Oh, 
Oh. And she's running. Oh. The sound effects are great, girls. So the fan club, from what I'm hearing down there, that was a great run. You know, she she got out of a few tackles, um, and tackles from from very very good tacklers. It's not like it's rookies out here trying to take her down. It's really skilled people that are on the field. So great run by by Riley there. She still had the option outside as well, which was even more impressive. If she wanted to to backwards pass that, she could have. And we've seen that the Wolves aren't. They're not against throwing in a few trick plays every oh, now and well. again, keeping someone close just to be able to rugby pass it all off with <laughs> a nice spiral on it. I feel like they do have quite a few rugby players, you know, from just knowing a few of the girls and chatting to them. I feel like that kind of really helps in this situation because you can you can throw it backwards and, and you've got the players that can deal with that. And it's actually working out really well for them there. I mean, I would say the Wolves have really, really surprised me. And I don't think surprise is the right word, but I'm really impressed with how they're doing right now. Um, it's really well managed, great game planning. So massive shout out to the coaches on that. So this ball going to be on the 12-yard line of the London Warriors. Got that motion into that double back. Moody straight at the middle. Oh, oh. Chrissy has read that really well, and Sophie was straight in there to help. You know, she had a bit of space in Moody there, but Chrissy shut that down pretty quick. That was a great read, a great tackle, and Sophie there to support. And it's going to be a second and eight from the on now on the Warriors' ten-yard line. I know because I'm stood next to the ten-yard pylon. I will say, the Wolves have marched their way down field. I think, I think the Wolves have definitely been impressive so far. Mm -hmm. But can they put some more points on the board is the question. Go, 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 go. And Adamson. Oh. So, I would have said that the ball had bounced on that, but the London Warriors coaches are not happy about this call. I mean, it, to be fair, it's an interesting conundrum to have. He's asking questions, you know, that we all want to know the answers to. But this ball's still going to be in the hands of the Wolves. Keep it, keep it. some stiff arms. Great. It's going to be a TD for the Wolves. That was, you know, really well managed by the Wolves. Um, I will echo that the the Warriors sideline are not are not best pleased. I can understand it. I would, uh, I think, I'd want to get an answer from the refs on on the previous call. And when the ref maybe goes up the other end of the field, we may have a discussion about that. Mm -hmm. It'd be good to know, you know, what the the rule is and what the decision was on that. Um, I think it's always going to need a conversation. Um, but I can understand the the you know the Warriors to kind of like keep their cool. They're getting heckled a little bit, um, which, you know, as a player isn't fun, uh, as a spectator, you know, good say. Uh, but they're keeping their cool and, and they're doing what they're exactly, you know, needing to do and getting them touchdowns. Rose, walk down. Walk down, Rose. So it's going to be a fourth, Madamson. <sighs> oh, I've got up the no two points. But you know, and that seven was open, and she was like, "Give me that ball." And you know, it was it was said that Riley kind of made. I mean, listen, I back Riley's decision making. It would have been great to see it go to seven there, because she she had a little bit of space. That was the coverage by the other London uh, players there. What's really interesting now is 
if the, the Warriors players are getting riled up because they're unhappy with some of the calls that are being made, they'll come out punching and sadly the Wolves are on the other end of that. Um, so, you know, the, the Wolves are keeping really calm and composed and, and that's great to see from them. The, this is when the Wolves kind of really come into their own. They enjoy that adversity and, and they'll come out and they'll make sure that they're, they're punching people in the mouth to prove a point. So the Edinburgh kickoff unit is back on the pitch. Move the camera. Here we go. Onside oh. kick for the Wolves. Ball goes out of bounds. Flag comes flying mm -hmm. out. <laughs> so there's a bit of chaos on the wide sideline over the flag, and then someone's kindly pointed out that it's just the illegal kick because the ball went out of bounds. I think they were really ready to start a scrap, but I want to see it on field and, and see an eagle on field. So we've got the option, they're going to put the reference on. It's pretty decent um, field position. I don't blame them for that, that's an unfortunate kick. So. Let's talk about what happened in the end zone for the Wolves versus the Warriors. <laughs> yeah. I, again, I'm not Willie. If Willie was here, I'm sure he could provide with a bit more mm -hmm. context. But, yeah, I think the, I don't know, I think of the London Warriors coach, it's either a pitch or it's illegal. So, the, I mean, the way I saw it, and bearing in mind we were obviously watching quite live, I thought it hit the floor before, oh. High snap high for the snap. Warriors. Just recover that. Yeah, that's the right decision. Um, I thought the, the ball had touched the floor, so I think it was a forward pass and she'd not had control of it. So it was a, a dead ball. I'm <laughs> saying, questioning myself. Oh, flag. Flag on the play. <sighs> right. uh, I believe we are, mate, yeah. No, no, not long. Just getting heckled from some general Leeds people there. Um, be nice to know what this flag was. That's a big penalty, so maybe unsportsmanlike. But yeah, as I saw the ball hit the ground on the, the Wolves uh, Warriors end zone scenario, I would have said it was a, a dead ball, but it's really hard to say. Again, it'd be really good to know, uh, it would be really good to know what actually happened. I will say, just for some context, I'm trying to speak whilst I'm having my name chanted in the background, which is actually quite annoying. Yeah. <laughs> So that's going to be a first and 25. Second and 25. Oh, a great play by the D-line for Wolves there. So that's 90, 9 and 75, seems as though 75. You know, I feel like she just really hit that hard and that just takes you sometimes a hot second to actually get up and move off the back of it. But that was a really, really, you know, well called play. They went in, they didn't hesitate, and they were they were straight in there without messing. And 75 is back up. Yeah, she's ready to go. She's like, I've just had a great play, don't put me out. So that's still gonna be a third and twenty-five for the Warriors. But it's a it's a counting clock now, you know. There might be, be a third and thirty. That's a long ass way. Yeah. One person who can do it is probably Siobhan Hooker. But no. No, it goes out of bounds. You know, Warriors didn't have a lot of time there. It was a running clock, so they kind of needed to try and keep the time on their side, and it was a lot of talk in the back. They just needed to, to give it off to Shiv and try and hope and probably get some yards on that, and they did. 
But now, would you punt? I would. I'd be very surprised if this isn't a punk formation. I mean, their their kickers going now into a trips formation. Oh, so yeah. could be a very strange kick, but given to Walker. Walker goes left. Walker goes right. <laughs> but that is not going to be enough for the Warriors. So it looks like Warriors have got their QB two on number eighteen. I think that was quite well handled by her. She, you know, she's following some big boots, so for her to kind of come in and, and get them good handoffs, that good control on the offense, that's really impressive. On oh, my sheet, I don't have a number 18, unfortunately. A surprise player on the field. Shouldn't it be defense on now? It is. It seems to be that the London Warriors. So I've just asked Tebs, shouldn't it be the defence on now? I don't believe that <laughs> Siobhan Walker got enough yards for that to become a first down. No, and now the old lollipops are going back the, old, the other way. So you would, you would think that defence are on. If so, we might see something quite interesting where there's a bunch of offence players playing defence. And I'd be impressed to see that. I mean, 18 for the Warriors is going back 18 on. 18 is going back on. So what is happening with them chains? So they're seeing... F yeah, the chains haven't moved. If you look at the chains, the chains are going in the favour of the Edinburgh Wolves. So are they saying that she... But how... I haven't got a clue. I am confused. So are they saying that Shiv had that? Because wasn't, wasn't that fourth down last play? That was fourth down last play. I think we might need to interview the chain crew just to double check what's happening there. Um, I don't think the refs know either. I think everyone's a little bit confused. I don't have a clue. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, normally, you know, I, I try to provide some level of commentary, whether, whether you enjoy <laughs> it or not, whether you think it's good or bad, but I don't have the foggiest what is currently happening on the opposite sideline to us. I thought that was fourth down. I thought that this uh -huh. was going to be Wolves football. Yeah. If I was Wolves, I'd be kicking up a real stink right now because, you know, it, it was it was fourth down before. Shiv didn't manage to get all the way through. And now we're on fourth and, what, four, 13 maybe? So I'm not too sure what's happened there. We've not seen a flag for a while. No, it's not going to be a fourth and 13. It's looking more like a fourth and nine, eight. Now, oh, now we've moved again, yep. Not a clue. So you can put your bets on, tell us what's happened. What's your view on this? So it's looking like the Warriors are going to have one more play here. Ball is thrown. I got oh. no. <laughs> we've all been there. <laughs> Um, I don't think 44 was expecting the ball there. Um, you know, that, that was a little bit of a lofty one, but she's only just got into the game as 18 as a QB. Everyone gets a couple of, you know, safety throws. Uh, but I don't think 44 was really expecting the ball. Uh, it was sad that he wasn't picked off, but then I think the Wolves players got a little excited and just ran into each other. And I've done it a thousand times, so I'm not going to comment on that. So now the London Warriors defence comes onto the pitch. I'm surprised that they've got first down on the chains and it's not third down for fun. Just keep us on our toes. I'll tell you what is strange, and I'm not sure about the rule under this. So obviously 35 points constitutes a rolling clock. Uh -huh. If the team that's down then goes back within 35 points, is that then back to a regular clock? I've definitely asked this during, you know, uni ball and because I was like, it seems unfair. Mooney's got running, Mooney's running, but... Two Warriors take her down. Yeah, she just couldn't get at the edge there as much as she was aiming for it. Let's see how many yards move. Looking like four. I think as any, any offensive player would probably say, it's super annoying when you end up going more yards laterally than you do, you know, kind of <laughs> where you want to be going. She was trying to get the edge there, and I don't blame her for doing that. Um, I think that was a design play, but she just didn't quite get the, the edge on there from, from 40. She managed to play that one out. Here we go now, here we go. Second and six. 
24 in motion. Adamson looking to throw. Oh. See there that. was a lot of wolves in open space there. I think you had That's Moody open, was. 34 looked like she could have she could have got that. It was just unfortunate that the ball didn't quite reach. I think it was 87. Oh, right. So I think we know the answer to the question, whether or not that goes back to being a mm -hmm. regular clock. <coughs> so 1-5-0 on the clock. Both teams have got all three timeouts. So this is when Wolves really want to hang on to the ball to try and keep their offense on. And the ball just goes off the the player in motion. Mm. But it was it was great awareness by 13. She she knew that she was in a bit of a difficult position and she just dropped on it. I think that's the right thing. You've got to secure the ball over over giving it to the Warriors offense midway through. You don't want it to be doing that. So that's going to end up being a third and 14, 15 for the Wolves. You've just got to hope that they can pull something out of the bag because you, you really don't want, you know, a turnover here when we're under the two minutes and be given, you know, Shiv that, that opportunity to take another touchdown. Don't, well, don't get me wrong, just give, just give them by. So I think this game is more than likely out of the hands of the Wolves by now. But, mm -hmm. but if you can put some more points on the London Warriors, it uh -huh. does prove your point. Oh. And through the legs of number seven, and that's going to bring up a fourth and 15. Timeout for the Wolves. What I will say is it's now 20 past six and there's still a, a decent amount of people here to watch. The Chargers and the Lions have both tried to stick around and, and just some general supporters from other teams. So it's really good to see the turnout and the support for the NWFL. It's a great day that's been hosted by the, the Chargers and it's nice to see that they're just kind of supporting women's sports in this kind of area. So it's, it's nice to see, it's very wholesome. It is very nice because there's sometimes in Britball like you know, like you can have no one turn up. Yeah. And that ends, no one really bats an eye. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> so have, especially when uh, Leeds were playing, there were a lot of people getting their suntan on watching mm -hmm. some football. Yeah, well, say we had dads with the tops off. It was like sunbathing weather. I tell, I tell you what, when I turned around <laughs> and that man was in his just his bright yellow swimming trunks, I was shocked. I like, will say that is one of our players, dads. Yeah. Mr. Dalby Naylor. I'll put it like this. <laughs> I'm happy that it's someone's dad and not, yeah. just, and not just the guy. Someone's just, uncle. <laughs> just, and I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, these, these women trunks were oh, yellow. Highlighter. Yeah. It's like it's like he had high-vis shorts on, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so the Wolves staying on the pitch. Very low snap. Flag on the play. A lot more flags in this game than Leeds versus Brum, I can tell you that. And that was quite a high bar that we set. I believe it didn't take until the second quarter before the first flag came out, and it was, what, the fourth quarter when the first punt came out? We were... I, I'm going to uh, not comment on what I feel the refs uh, were throwing during our game. I don't think it'll be fair. I'm very biased on it. But this has been quite a flag-heavy game in comparison. And that's going to bring the Wolves back to, it's going to be a fourth and 20, fourth and 19. Still, still they're not going to be bringing out that punt unit. This is one of them where it's a little bit like, what are we, what are we punting for? We might as well go for it. 100%. Okay, Adamson, Adamson has got it. Still time. Ball in the air. Oh. And it's off of that helmet of number 87. <sighs> That was that was unfortunate. If that if that would have come in, that would have been very impressive. And what I really like it is just the the backing themselves in this. You know, we've said there's not a lot of point in punting that scenario, but to back your players and said, you know what, let's just go for it. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Like, let's just do it. Let's have a bit of fun. I really really appreciate that from the Wolves coaches. 
So that's going to bring on the Warriors offense. Looking to put a few more points on the board, or are they just going to kneel this one out? I imagine that it's maybe a minute, maybe 120. I would be surprised if I was to see these girlies take a knee. Yep. <laughs> Um, you know, they back themselves. They might as well try a, a few new players. They're, they're, <laughs> I say they're in victory formation, is in there kind of taking little picks on the sideline. They're a great team. They really back each other as players, and they're really, you can tell that they've got a great bond, and it's nice to see them supporting each other, the coaches. Yeah. From the bottom Ooh. of the three. But picked up. I think she was so going. Number 80 of the Wolves on the tackle there. And I don't have a number 80 on my sheet. Oh, another surprise player. But you know, the Warriors coach is there kind of coaching through it. They've been like, you know, shouting things on to their players to make sure that the players feel prepared and, and know what's going on. And I really like that. I think it's really good to see their coaches making sure that they're, they're really supporting the players through this kind of game. And now they're in, you know, a bit of relaxed mode. There we go. Very, very strange throw. Oh, but 21 ripped to the floor by Ibs. Yeah, that was, you know, for for I think I think that was 21. Sam Reed that caught that. That was an impressive catch because that ball was. Oh, that's a light flag. All all in the shoulder there. That throw, but a late flag. Mm. Yeah, so for Sam Reed to catch that, like, massive props to Sam. She had that under control, but, you know, Abe saw that a mile away, and she flew straight out, and she took no hostages. We're just trying to get what the flag is here. It's, it it's OPI. Oh, that's bold. I, I would say that's a harsh call. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... You don't, you don't want to say, you know, they want to get these use out of these flags. <laughs> yeah, no point in keeping them in the pocket all day. They've paid for them. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, uh, well, tell me this. They are specially made. They're not just like those yellow those, those yellow rags. I, you to clean this wood. is, you know, this is when a sports tank taught me that. I, I can't remember who it was. It was Woolly. He's doing some off Was it? And, you know, they've got to get the kit from America, which amazes me. Someone really needs to make a kit out here. Can't I mean, just get no white hats from Primark. <laughs> yeah, I'll be using a dust rag. 18 throws it. Ooh. Caught by Frimpong. Ibs on it again. And Ibs with the tackle again. That was well managed, I would say, by Frimpong. And here we go. And that's going to be a timeout called by the Warriors. You can tell that the girls are getting hot. Like, it has cooled down considerably. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, there's a bit of a breeze. It's it's pretty late on, so it's not quite as warm, but it's still hot. So you can tell that some of the girls are struggling in this, especially if they've been going both ways, which a lot of them have. So We've been having guest appearances all over the show. It's been quite interesting. So Walker is now in. It's going to be a third and 28, 30... I'm going to say it, they're going to pass it to Shiv Walker. I've got a feeling it's going to be a handoff. Oh, oh, Lord. Running left. Walker cuts. Walker fakes the cut. <laughs> Goes out looking for the pole. Oh. Hands off Moody. And there we oh. go. It's going to be a. a no, it's look. No, it's not. Uh, it's yeah, I think we they just did. whistled right. Well, you know, I mean, first there's some the great blocking I saw. Is that the end of the game? Yeah. I think see. Fine, and ladies and gentlemen, that puts a close to NWFL Saturday as the London Warriors beat the Edinburgh Wolves 42 to 12. Great show from the Wolves, I think. Actually, not gone in their favour. Mm -hmm. I, I expected a, a lot higher score from, from Warriors, so for Wolves to keep them out and to keep them to that, that score, is, is it's, it's worked out for them. They've done really well in this situation. Yeah, and with that, obviously, oh, what was it, 76? 66? <laughs> yeah, something like that, 76. Lions beating the Leeds Chargers in a high-scoring affair. 
It, when you look at this, when you look at the uh, the old sport tank score post, you're, gonna, you're not going to believe your eyes. <laughs> I believe 8676. I might be wrong. It might be 7666. It was a lot. But that is going to wrap up a hot, hot day. Obviously, you know, for the, you know, we, we give MVPs up. Yeah, I mean, it's 16 for the Warriors. It's not. It's got. It's got to be. I would love to say that it was, you know, someone that was out blocking, but. It doesn't matter the block she gets, she still finds her space. So there we go. So here are the headlines. Birmingham beats Leeds. London beats Edinburgh. Siobhan Walker is good at football. <laughs> and tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back, or I will be back in Southampton for the Solent Seahawks versus the Rushmore Knights in the under-19s Div 1 South. Then it will be the Solent Thrashers versus the Bristol Aztecs in the Premiership South. And then we have the most anticipated Div 2 game just to put on very, 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 very recently the Portsmouth Dreadnoughts versus the Somerset Wyverns. Five games, two days, and as it's Saturday, have a lovely evening, and hopefully you will be with us tomorrow for the slate of three games.